You feel me? Yeah. <clears throat> First, let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche. I don't want it. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Fat Dallas, aka Mr. Tutty Tutty, bringing you some more. Madden 18 Ultimate Team tips in gameplay. As you can see, we are on a nine game winning streak. On our way to the 10th Super Bowl, ranked 115th, almost in the top 100. I got to get a day in where I can play like seven or eight games in one day and I easily crack the top 100. But today we're going to go over a few easy and simple tricks to be able to dominate on Madden. Madden is a game where you just have to do the smallest things to win. It's not nothing that you need to overthink. You don't have to always have one play touchdowns. You just gotta play the game real simple. It's a lot of predetermined stuff that happens in the game. So that's the reason why a key on defense is bend, don't break defense. Not too overly aggressive. Making sure that you switch your defenses up. Don't never give him the same look three times in a row because you gotta think. If you run the same defense two times, Usually somebody will find an opening. They might miss a read once, they might miss a read twice, but then after a while they're gonna be like, oh man, that dude was wide open, I should have threw it to him, or I pushed the wrong button. So mixing your defenses up, giving him a different look. If you was user in the linebacker on the right side, switch it up and user the linebacker on the left side. Make sure that you are covering in your area first. The first two or three seconds after the the QB hikes the ball is very important. If it's a play action and you bring your user all the way down to the line of scrimmage, you just knocked the potential um, five or six yard gain and just gave him an opening for a 20, 25 yard gain. You got to make sure that you use the play art that is shown. Madden has been broken down to a bum friendly game. They give you so much hope in the game and you just got to use what's in the game. Do you think it's right? Do I think it's right? No, I think the game should be more complex than that. I think you shouldn't have previous call on everything. That is something that you should have to work after. Like after your team goes to the sidelines, maybe they should show you previous play stuff. But they say in real life, they call down from above, tell you what defense it is, what offense it is. You know, but people make changes as you see somebody line up. So previous play is a big thing in the game that needs to be taken out or limited. But it's up to you to take advantage of the tools that they did implement in the game. So, on defense, if you're one of the people that like to run stock cover three or stock cover two and all that type of stuff all game, just know that eventually somebody is going to find a way to exploit that. So, you got to always mix your coverages up. You got to always think. When you play in the game, it's easy to walk away with a W if you are just thinking. If he ran the ball four times and he was getting one to two yards on them runs instead of seven to nine yards on them runs, it's a good chance that even on second and seven, third and nine, he going to start passing the ball. So you need to have yourself prepared to have people in areas that might be open like if you in the cover two you know that a deep blue is essential to have for the one play touchdowns if you in the cover three you know that the cover three bombs they got three routes on one side of the field it's easy for them to manipulate the cornerback and the safety and hold him still and be able to throw a fade all the way down for a one play touchdown so we can continue this series on a couple key tools to make you better at the game all you got to do is just pay attention and implement them it's all love patreons shout out to all y'all Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. We don't see this often. A quarterback of his.